Hi, I'm Kevin Eikenberry, and one of the questions people often ask me about goal setting is, how big should my goals be? And that's one of the big challenges of balance that people have, because they say, well, if I make my goal too big and set it out there too far, then when I don't make it, I'll feel bad if I don't make it, and then I'll lose sight of my goals and I'll stop doing it at all. And in fact, that's what often people do. They set a really big goal, this is what I really want, and then when they don't achieve it, they get disappointed and frustrated and they give up on the process. But you can also choose to set it really low at where you know you can achieve it, and that's not necessarily the right answer either. So really the answer to the question of how big your goals should be are really a matter of balance and personal preference at some level, but if you set them too low, you'll never get the things you want in life. Let me tell you a quick story about people setting big goals, and maybe that'll be helpful to you. You've probably heard of Mark Victor Hansen and Jack Canfield, the guys that wrote all of the chicken soup for the soul books. And when they published their first book, they set a goal as a team to sell, in the next 30 years, to sell a billion books. That's a billion with a B. That's a very big number. Considering that the average book, the median number of books sold by, by any book is something around 500, to say that they're going to sell a billion books, even in their case over a number of different titles, is a huge, unbelievable goal. Now, the last number I've heard, and I've heard different numbers, but the last number I've heard from them 20 years into that process is they've sold somewhere above 100 million books. The question is twofold for you. Number one is, are they disappointed that they haven't sold a billion books? Probably at some level. But the more important question is, would they have ever sold 100 million if they hadn't set the goal as big as a billion? If their goal had been to sell, well, let's sell 1,000 books or even a million books, would they have ever done the things or had to create the ideas that would help them sell 100 million? So my suggestion to you is set your goals a little bigger than you think. Recognize that when you stretch yourself, even if you don't reach them, you may get a lot further than you would have gotten otherwise. And so the next time you're setting goals, think about chicken soup and recognize that perhaps you can set your goals just a little bit bigger than you might think. Now, if you want to learn some more about goals and goal setting and goal achievement, I'd love to share with you 20 or so other videos just like this one. And I'll share all those with you for free if you'll just go to next12monthsbest12months.com. And so that's 12 with a 1 and a 2. So it's next12monthsbest12months.com. I look forward to seeing you there soon. Thanks.